Hey guys, it's Lock Love and Yogini here, and today we're going to be doing the video outside because the weather is really great, and for once my allergies aren't acting up, so I'm not a big puffy mess. <laughs> um, but for today, we're going to talk a little bit about swimming with locks. So swimming with dreadlocks isn't necessarily a huge deal if you know how to maintain uh, your locks during the process. And there's not even that much of a process. If you're going to be going to the beach or if you're going to a lake or a river, some sort of natural body of water, you'd want to care for your hair the same way as you would any other day of the week. Um, so what I recommend is using a gentle shampoo and conditioner. There are two that have been pretty good to me lately. The two that I've been working with re recently are Good by Burt's Bees. Uh, this particular one is Orange Petalooza, so it has a blood orange flower and some other like great kind of natural stuff in there. It's not the most natural shampoo and conditioner set that you could use because you could obviously make your own or do apple cider vinegar rinse, but something like this is pretty gentle. It's not going to strip your hair too badly, it's not going to leave residue behind, and it'll get your hair clean from the sort of, you know, things that would happen if you're in a lake or swimming at the beach. It'll definitely get the sand out, get the salt out, and leave your hair feeling nice and soft afterwards. So that's all that I would recommend if you're just going swimming in a natural body of water, or if you're swimming in a salt water pool instead of one that's chlorinated. The only time that I think you'd really want to take any extra precautions with your dreadlocks is if you're swimming in a chlorinated pool because chlorine is a beast on our hair. It's a beast on anybody's hair. But if you have naturally curly hair that can tend to be pretty dry anyway, then chlorine will do no favors for you. It's not gonna help you out at all. So since chlorine is an entirely different beast, it does require a little bit more preventative maintenance. Um, what'll happen with chlorine, in my hair anyway, is that when I started the locking process, the chlorine dried out my hair so much. And to a degree, having my hair a little bit drier was nice because it helped it bind better, but then it also turned it into something that felt a little bit more like hay or straw, the nice, smooth, silky locks. So that's a downside. So in addition to drying out your hair, chlorine can also change the color of your hair. You can't see it right now because I'm not in direct sunlight, but probably from here to here on my hair is a little bit more of a reddish brown color and the rest of my hair is more brownish black. And that's from the chlorine. Uh, when I first started doing my locks, I was also taking swim lessons, which is a really stupid combination of events, but that's just what happened. And it changed the color of my hair. So those are two things that you'll want to protect against, dryness and just the way that chlorine affects the color of your hair. So there are two things that you can do, I think, that can really help protect your hair. The first is to get your hair wet with regular water before you get into the pool with the chlorine. So what that does is that your hair will absorb the regular tap water or whatever it is that you're using, and it'll sort of saturate with that water instead of soaking up all of the chlorinated water. I found that that kind of helps. Secondly, I would recommend finding a swim cap. Now the swim cap isn't going to keep your hair dry. You'll have all sorts of little gaps around the edges where water gets in and that's fine. But if your hair is already saturated with regular water and you're wearing a swim cap, you're just reducing the exposure that your strands have to the chlorinated water. Now with my hair being as thick as it is and not even that long, I mean, I'm making pretty good progress as far as length goes for where I want it to be, but my hair is not even the longest set of locks that you're going to see, and it's so hard to find a swim cap that fits them. So what I'll do is I'll put my hair back in a bun, and then I found one by this company that is fairly large. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what you're looking at as far as size. And this was the extra, extra large cap for long hair. And even this one has a hard time keeping all these bad boys in there. But it does help, you know, just a little bit to prevent how much of the chlorinated water is making direct contact with your hair for the duration of time that you're swimming. So once you've saturated your hair with regular water and you've added your swim cap, you're about as good as you can get with protecting your hair. Some people recommend putting a little bit of conditioner on your hair before you get into the pool, like while it's still wet, I didn't find that helped a whole lot. What happened is that the, the conditioner would be like rinsing out in the pool and in my eyes, and that didn't really seem to do a whole lot of benefit for me. So I don't recommend it. It might work for some people. Um, and some other people would just recommend not swimming in chlorinated pools at all. 
that's probably your best bet. I'd aim for natural bodies of water if possible, but if you're going to be in a pool, then those two things would really help. So once you get out of the pool, I recommend using a clarifying uh, or chelating shampoo every couple of washes. You might not need to do it every single wash because that might be too much for your hair and it might just make it dry and damage it further. But I do recommend using a clarifying shampoo occasionally, especially if you're going to be in chlorinated water often. I have never found a clarifying natural shampoo. There might be one on the market, but I'm not aware of it. So if you know of one, please let me know and go ahead and put that in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but if you're going to be using a clarifying shampoo, you'll probably swing on over to the side of the store where they sell all of the conventional products. And I recommend this one by Paul Mitchell. It didn't cost too much. I want to say that I got it at Ulta, and this one was like $12. The conditioner cost more, so that was a little annoying. Uh, and the conditioner, there, that comes with it. Now this actually says clarifying shampoo. Whereas there's no such thing as a clarifying moisturizer. So I just got something in the same line and it seems to work together pretty well. Um, with the clarifying shampoo, it has a really great smell. It takes out all of the residue that you could possibly have from the chlorine. I would say it takes it all out. I didn't have any problems with it afterwards. Um, it takes out that chlorine smell. It just makes your hair feel really nice and really clean. And it doesn't feel too stripped. It's definitely stronger than the Burt's Bees that I use when I'm just going to like a lake or something. But it's not nearly as bad as freaking relaxer chemicals or anything. So you're still pretty good to go. Once you use a clarifying shampoo, it's super, super, super important to follow up with a really good moisturizing conditioner if you condition your hair. Um, I recommend this one. As I was saying, it's also by Paul Mitchell. It pumps out, so it's really easy to use. And this one feels really great. It rinsed out clean, didn't leave any residue, and it left my hair feeling soft for about two days. After that, you know, I just went back to my regular moisturizing routine. For, but for about two days, I just lasted on the conditioner alone, and it seemed to do a pretty good job. So if you're going to be swimming in chlorinated water, I recommend saturating your hair with regular water first. Wearing a swim cap to minimize the amount of exposure that your hair has to the chlorinated water. And following up with a really good clarifying shampoo. And then just being sure to condition and nurture your hair the best that you can afterwards. I hope you guys have a terrific summer and enjoy the water. Bye!